You know, we really love fashion here at WNTU, yeah. but we're not wearing kilts for fun, I'll tell you that. Yeah, we are supporting kilts for kids, all to support the <laughs> Ronald McDonald House Charities of Michiana. Yeah. You don't see our legs yet, <laughs> but you will. <laughs> We got them. Uh, also, They're so cute. We've got uh, we've got the CEO of Ronald McDonald House Charities Michiana here, Kirsten Eifler. Thank yes. you so much for being here, Kirsten. Thanks for having me. This is great. This is awesome. You guys look amazing. I, I like, love should this. Should we stand yeah. up? Yes, you absolutely have to I, stand, just, up. stand up. Just to show you guys a little bit. Uh oh, let me move this. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. You guys like this look? Is they this, look. We look great. It, look is, this isn't planned, right? Tartan. Yes. Tartan. Tartan. Yes. Tartan. Oh, this I is nice. Yes. This is for a great cause. For those who don't know, what is happening? Uh, yep. uh, later on next month. Yeah, so so this is our 15th annual McDazzle featuring Kilts for Kids, okay. previously known as Men in Kilts, mm -hmm. for most that would know in the community. And this was started uh, by our founder and um, a local doctor around town um, that decided over a couple glasses of bourbon one night that <laughs> we need to have something more than a rubber chicken dinner. And we need to do something that the community can get involved in. Mm -hmm. We can have a big dinner gala and really have some fun. There's so, so many groups involved in this too, oh, right? Yeah. Yes, yes, We're definitely. not the only kilts you're going to be seeing. There are dozens of people. And people at home yep. can get involved and vote. Is that right? They can, yep. If they go to kiltsforkids.org, um, you can actually go and vote. It's a dollar per vote. We make it really easy. Mm -hmm. So one for one. So if you want that team to get 20 votes you give $20 and uh, all the money goes right here to our chapter it keeps our doors open for our families at no cost and uh, we want obviously to crown the kilted victor at the end of the night which is uh, Thursday October 3rd at Fort Winsfield you mentioned the chapter we'll talk about that in a second I want to go to this event too about the silent auction because uh -huh. there are ways you can get involved that way too right correct yep so same website kiltsforkids.org and you can go on and you can actually bid on our silent auction items so we want to make sure we're inclusive of the community as well as the attendees there so that you you can bid for things even from the the uh, comfort of your own home on yeah. your couch yeah. so I, i've been yeah. asked to close my legs a little bit for the record i have <laughs> pants on <laughs> but i don't know what y'all see i listen <laughs> They're kind of now a hybrid biker short, yeah, so much, yeah. the leggings are perfect, yeah. yeah. Really? Okay. Weird, weird request, I never thought I'd hear. <laughs> I heard that in my ear, too, as well. I said, well, oh, and the dollar-dollar dollar bills down there, on, the go. socks Come are really down. what makes what it. Going on? Listen, we are wearing this because we are big supporters of yeah. everything you do at Ronald you McDonald are. House Charities. Yeah. Talk about where this money is going to. I know you are serving, I, th I think I read almost 12,000 meals, 11,000 yeah. meals. Already this year, we've done over 11,000 wow. meals in 2024, yeah. That's huge. Wow. Yeah, last year we we actually have already broken the record for how many meals we did in last year in its entirety. So, Gosh. so we provide a home away from home for families of sick and injured children ages 21 and younger. Mm -hmm. So anyone that's hospitalized at Beacon Children's Hospital, Memorial Hospital, and or Epworth um, would be able to utilize our services as long as their child is 21 or younger. Mm -hmm. um, we provide all of our services at no cost. Um, a lot of people are like, well, what are your services? So we have hot and ready meals um, every day at noon and 6 p.m. We have laundry facilities. Facilities. We have 20 bedroom suites that we provide. Wow. And again, all at no cost to families because of this community right here supporting and us. And it's just one less stress for parents to have to worry about when their child is in the hospital. Where are we going to stay? Where are we going to eat? It's one less big stress. Yeah, absolutely. You, you talk numbers. I want to get some more numbers. 11,000 mm -hmm. meals, yep. 4,486 total family wow. nights. Yeah. That's huge. And those are the overnights. So yeah. th that is the number of families that have had to stay with us. And unfortunately, this year, the number of nights per family has actually grown mm. from 10 to 14 so now on average our families are staying with us two weeks mm. which is the largest number we've had since we became um, you know since we were in the community 22 years ago so it's been a large number so although we might have fewer families staying with us they're staying us for longer periods of time gotcha. so, the money so that is means still needed, right? oh absolutely more than ever more mm. than ever talk about that if you can for those who've never gone to this event what should they expect because yeah. it is a great night for sure it is it's a very fun night yeah. so <laughs> uh, so doors open at five o'clock mm -hmm. um, and then our program um, begins at 6 30 mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, we have our typical speeches and things. And then uh, dinner begins at 7. And that's when the fun really begins. Yeah. So our kilters come out. And we get to see every team individually um, so that they can kind of get their, their moment on stage. Uh -huh. And so they come out. And we literally have a stage. Mm -hmm. So they walk across the stage. They pick their own song. So we've had lots of different uh, lots of different music choices, uh, which some will really, really pump you up. Some kind of make you, like, cry a little bit, you know? Because oh. it's an emotional night, too, right? right? Because we're recognizing all the work we've done in the community.
and a family. Um, every year we recognize a family that has gone through our services and we you know, try to have them tell their story so that everyone in the audience can relate to how the Ronald McDonald House has helped them. Relating right. to that um, mission. Yeah. yeah. To that mission. But it's definitely more of a fun night, yeah. especially with the kilters yeah. and they're raising money and you can actually vote the night of okay. still. Perfect. Um, we've got a live auction, a silent auction, as you guys uh, helped us mention, with wow. lots of great prizes, so we're really excited. I think I saw a beach giveaway, a beach yeah. vacation. So Holy there's a destination smokes. getaway that has yeah. actually up to four different choices, wow. which uh, with, I believe um, it's Hawaii and Bali being two of the four. Wow. Um, we've got <laughs> a yeah, a Kansas City Chiefs game um, in December this year. We've got a gift card to Ashley Renee, um, mm -hmm. so great for prom season. Prom season yep. yep. Yeah. So we've got we've got like 35 items. So I mean, it's a, a vast array of different things, and we try to you know try to make it inclusive to everyone, right? Yeah. Whether you're um, buying something for someone else or yourself, and you know, yeah. gender neutral, all the things. Yeah. The, you Again, know, this is huge, and this is great for our community. And so when you when you see these kilts out in the community, yes. go up, talk to them because yes. I'm sure they are raising money for their teams, which ultimately goes back to Ronald McDonald. This Absolutely. is great. 100%. Uh, Kirsten, thank you so much for being here. And we love